Let's get started, J. Crew. You guys ready? We're gonna start with some prayer. It's your boy, Ryan Rogers, the big version of Chooch. The adult looking like a Vinny. We're gonna get started in prayer. I want you to bow our heads. Jesus, name we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for igniting our paths, God, and guiding us, God, through these difficult times, God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. So, God, thank you for your protection, Lord Jesus, protecting each and every one of us during these times, God. Thank you for, Lord, bringing us closer to you, Jesus, through these times. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, touch every family, God, touch every home right now that might be affected by what's going on. Those who are sick, Lord, we ask for healing in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, we're going to get started. Um, this is my first time doing this, so I'm excited. I'm a little too excited about a breath. So, you got to give me a second. But... We're about to get down in some praise and worship. So I hope you stand up. Uh, today's lessons will be on fire. And it's going to be a very, very different lesson. But uh, I'm pumped up. So I'm going to welcome our praise and worship song right now. Thanks. I believe that before the night is over, somebody is leaving here with a breakthrough. Somebody's going to leave here with a breakthrough in your heart, a breakthrough in your mind, a breakthrough in your finances, a breakthrough in your family. I need about 50 people to shout breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Come on, somebody shout breakthrough, breakthrough. Come on, somebody shout breakthrough. Come on, clap your hands up high, everybody. Come on. Weakness. 
this breakthrough in my struggle. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough in my worship. Breakthrough in my praise. Breakthrough when I live and glorify your name. Breakthrough when I dance. Breakthrough when I shout. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my mind. Breakthrough in my spirit. Breakthrough in my soul. Breakthrough in my weakness. Breakthrough in my heart. What's up, everybody? Your weekly challenge is to pick up toys, pick up your room with your feet. 
Here's a demonstration, but you gotta do your best. It's gonna be a little hard, but I want you to try it. It's gonna be super fun, but very difficult, very challenging. And I wanna know who's able to do it their entire time without using your hands. It does get tiring, but that's the challenge of this week. But I want to encourage you today that there are times in my life where my feet have swiftly ran towards evil and bad things. But your feet aren't necessarily your feet. Your feet is just meaning the direction that you're going in your life. Yeah, again, for those who are tuning in, King David here. All you... One of the main things I like to focus on is just praising Jesus. So when I'm on my horse, I'm riding my horse through the desert, riding my horse through the mountains, I like to praise the name of Jesus, okay? But I like to do it with my harp. Harp brings me through so much. So I'm going to show you something real quick. It's one of my trophies. If my feet have were not pointed in the right direction, in, in, in doing the right things in, in my life, I would not have gotten this. So is the lion that I killed. This lion, he like, he's like maybe shrunk or something. He used to be really big and he really attacked me. But no, no, this is him. And this lion, I was able to defeat him. He's kind of cute. But anyway, this is the lion that I defeated because my feet were running towards good things and I was not running towards mischief and evil. Goodbye, Mr. Lion. So, I just want to encourage you today during this icebreaker, think about a time in your life where your feet ran towards something that was good and not bad. Don't be like me in my mischievous times. King David is out. Goodbye.